the, uh, the town received the American Recovery Rescue Plan Act funds. The town council did approve 500,000 for the park department. That's for, um, that we can use basically for anything, but these are funds that are now available for us for our regular budget expenses. So um, these will help with our utility bills. We've been kind of in a shell game at this point. Janice will tell you she's the main one doing a lot of this, just transferring here to here to cover things just to get us through with the anticipation that these funds will come. Well, in. What's the deal with waste management? I heard like an off comment about us having to get from their budget. Are we giving the money back to her? Uh, I have that was our last solid was waste. Okay, so that was in the true statement. I remind me of the statement. That was, no, it was just Mr. Gardner. The uh, I mean, within the last year, we do take on new expenses that garbage pickup we previously did not. This and that happened this year. when we went to the different uh, uh, trash service in town. Uh -huh. The previous one used to pick up here at Town Hall, Centennial Public Works as part of their contract. That's no longer the case. We are now paying the bill at any of the dumpsters that we're responsible for. So community parks, Centennial Park. The one that we have at, at, uh, at the public works card. So those are some new dollars that we have coming in there. We had the initial purchase, but the, the, that was a bond issue purchase for those brown um, trash containers that we have in all the parks now. Right. But, but that was just a one time okay. deal. So anything that would be ongoing, maybe that's, I, I didn't hear that one. So maybe that's the only um, kind of newer expense that we have with that. Maybe. So oh, yeah. it's, it's, uh, it, it, they're calling it container shipping fees. And we started paying it in. Well, let me add, if we, I, I, I take it back. So besides them coming in in those dumpsters, the town garbage truck has basically been given to us. So we're the only department that uses that now. So when we go and empty all those brown containers in the parks, we drive it to the uh, uh, the, the transfer station, Cherville. That's what we're also getting paid okay. billing for that we previously did not. not okay. Our, our budget. It was absorbed in with all other expenses. It was, hey, that, you know, we're, we're tapping in a few extra, you know, okay. garbage bags full onto the truck. Why are we having so much trouble with utility payments, though? Why are we, like, allowed to pay Paul and all that stuff? Why would that be built in to our budget? Something happened? They, they were, but, but those were all, well, it, 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 that's a problem that it sounds like every single year we transfer money that way. Um, you guys yeah. know that better than me, but we also did cut some of those this year um and when cut those one. initial budget cuts were made in February March this year when the attrition was yeah so we cut positions upon positions upon positions and yet position, position, yeah, we're still short has yeah. any other department cut positions that would be a great question for the town manager I would love to have that one answer <laughs> yeah I mean we got a new assistant town manager what that I mean I just don't understand how we're now in a position that we're sitting there robbing this person and this one. And I get internal transfers, but then you're taking five hundred thousand dollars, which should in theory, I could be wrong, go to a capital expense to pay for something long term, but we're actually using it to shore up our budget, which is absolutely ridiculous because our budget should be in theory all together and good and sound. Some of it, it's it's really the five hundred thousand that's meant to replace lost revenue from last year because of the lack of activities that we didn't that we had to cancel because of COVID. So we're the only one to We didn't have expenses, so but those were revenues that were projected going into that year to be included in our budget. So, so we, we survived it. Improved. So we should invest in it, like say the pool or something that's going to generate revenue long term. Sure. But are you you're being guided on how you can use those funds? You can use it for staff and for salaries and for anything, but then you get tripped up on that. We like to hire for you, hire whatever, <laughs> and then the next year. Well, yeah. that's what my point is. My point is, it's like just sort of like casino revenues in theory in the city of Hamilton. Right. Soft you, money. You invested in things that right. are long term old, like you're capital projects that right. generate dollars. But if you if you put it in and say use five hundred thousand dollars and we hire an assistant director of parks, right? Well, I mean, eventually that five hundred thousand dollars, just like a police grant, is going right. to run its course, and then all of a sudden you've got to find a way to fund it. Yeah. Soft money. And I'm just curious as to why our utilities are so out of whack. 
part of the task team do in, in obviously could be better explain this, but when we budget for utilities, we typically it's never really enough out of the general out of the local budget, but your 270, which is reverting electric money that was left right on the generator. Right. So if there's money in there in this 270, I can pay the bill out of there. But it depends on like, if the generator three days, money, well, it's it's running if that money's coming okay. in, then we gotta go back and pay it on 204. So they don't ever out of 204 out of our <clears> budget say, okay, how much did you spend on this? So like last year for the full they don't do all the facilities. Because you have that other fund. Yeah, so it's kind of hoping that between the two, there's going to be enough. Okay, that's And so that's why, you know, that's what happens now. Yeah, Beverages off as well, so those are all good things. 
Uh, the golf course maintenance, they're basically the iteration of the course is had, it, it's in progress. They've done the greens uh, and the tees that are now starting to work on the fairways. And uh, we have an air compressor lined up for late in the month when we start to blow out all the irrigation out there. With that, I can answer any questions or move on and let you know reports on some of our larger activities that uh, left us here this month. I just wanted to, so a report that you said we made money on almost every project that this park board has done, right? A lot of money. Except for Washington. Yes. Right. No, I mean, overall, right? We, we, yes. we, we're, we, we're revenue positive. On, on recreation program, yeah. yes. Yes. And we can't pay our electrical bill, then we got to use all this to shore up. I'm just making a point. And we need more revenue. So, anyone else that's listening out there, I'm sure, hopefully, that maybe there is. And we need more revenue. We should cut some more people. Well, and cut more people, and then it just yes, and, and pay for storage for public works. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yes. I'm in that little <laughs> mark. I'm just sorry. I'm just making sure it's for the record. So when people want to listen to this, they can hate me more. Anybody? I didn't know if that was going to be. They don't I'm just reporting on the community market that completed in September. We had eight market dates uh, with an average of 42 vendors per week. Um, the vendors overall were extremely happy. However, there was low attendance for all of the all of the markets, but the vendors seem to have done well. Um, we added entertainment and we added musical entertainment to all of the markets as well. Um, so that was on a positive note. We did partner with Local Wine, uh, which is a virtual vendor opportunity, and we partnered with a farm for on-site pickup for that, for fruits, fruits and vegetables and uh, canned products, uh, so on and so forth. And we did overall bring in almost $6,500. You know, it looks like uh, the weather was good, except for maybe one day. Why, why do you think the why do you think the vendors stop? Some vendors think that they're not being seen, which I don't really get. They're, you have St. Tom's coming out of church right there. You're on a main road. We have the card my yard signage. We put out little yard signs to kind of direct people. I don't know. Little no, league. What What's that? Little league games going on. Not really, not on uh, Sunday. Okay. We used to have it during the week, and that was the top process on that, but. I tried to attend it a couple of times, and I mean, I don't know, some of the vendors were not really my uh, support. Sure. Uh, it seemed more, uh, seemed geared towards it maybe not the crowd that we used to have, you know, on that particular day. Uh, we used to have people that came, you know, looking for obviously food, you know, uh, things like that. So I, I think maybe um, thinking about a rebrand of this would be good because I tried to go a few times this summer. Uh, yeah, it was very, uh, wasn't a lot of people there. Uh, and even the vendors didn't even seem very happy to engage, you know, when you walk around. So you could tell they were not real happy that, you know, there was poor attendance. Uh, I would really reconsider the location. Uh, it, it is weird. I don't know. It, I know you put the signs and stuff out there. It's just, it just doesn't seem. Uh, parking's not great there. Uh, I don't know. Well, was it better at Centennial? Yeah, good question. But you've been moving well, it. Like the first couple years that we had it, and we had it out. Kind of I mean, I'm even wondering if it's just kind of front of yeah, I think maybe just it might be have run its course. So maybe a different type of event, like you know, a lot of different communities are doing different things like um, art fairs or uh, you know, where they get local artists to come and do things like uh, do different things. So so it could be time for just a new just a new project. But this area is somewhat saturated with this saturated with everything right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, thank you for the program. It's revenue yes. positive, right? It is. Okay. It is revenue we can't positive. guarantee your job. I don't know if it to someone in this office, but we can insurance guarantee revenue positive. Oh.
I'm not going to stop. <laughs> it won't end if I go to the seven o'clock either. Yeah, that's it. Forewarning that he only wants to do that one. Okay, sorry. Do you like Jill? I like Jill. I, I wish yeah, I, I wish her to stay. Oh, Jill is a nice, he's nothing all over Jill. Look, she'll be very no positive for you. Nothing against the staff or um, everyone else, because guess what? We've been told we have to cut and cut and do with less and, and mow more lawn. And people, oh my God, the lawn is not mowed as much. And yet, we're still can't pay our electric bills. And oh, by the way, here's five hundred thousand dollars, but you can't spend it here. We're going to tell you where you need to spend it. Really? I'm sorry, I got a problem with that. Because when you eliminate people, it doesn't make it more efficient. It makes it more difficult. And then you have to put out programs. And everyone's like, "Well, I don't like it. I don't like the way it looks." Well, guess what? You cut three people. What do you want it to look like? Okay. I should just stay quiet over here. No, no, no. no. <laughs> uh, the next event I'll talk about is pumpkins, which is going to be right. Uh, we were able to get this in right before the massive storms rolled in. We were at, it surpassed our expectations in regards to attendance. Um, we actually ended up overselling wristbands um, because people weren't able to take advantage of all the activities that we had in. Within the four hours that we were running the uh, the event, but we had well over a couple thousand in attendance, if not more. We had the line all the way on the sidewalk, almost back to the roundabout at Centennial. Um, we offered 12 games. We had multiple different um, businesses on site, whether it be airbrush tattoo, balloon artists. Uh, we had several characters in for a meet and greet. We had stage entertainment. We had business arts and crafters for trick or treating. We had a pony ride. We had over 300 pumpkins, food vendors, hay rides. Um, the, the volunteers from the high school were extremely helpful. They were honest. Um, very, very, very few complaints. Like I said, the only thing that was complained about were some of the wristbands when we oversold those. Um, but again, that event brought in over 13,000. So part of that isn't due to that we got a $20,000 grant from South Shore Convention and Visitors Authority that we're splitting between this program and then our upcoming three programs this weekend. Is that part of the sponsorship then number? 16000 That seems like... Yeah, 15000 was put into this program and then 5000 for the three events this weekend. Okay. And that's $330 in marketing. That's it. Mm -hmm. Get all these people. And all of that was Facebook and there was one print ad. Yeah. Oh, that's great. No gambling. Yes. <laughs> no. We can't go I, on. I, so I'm like to beat the horse. We can't go on. I appreciate, let me say, I appreciate the staff for doing this. Yes. Oh, oh, that's that's the the yeah. pictures are really yeah. cute. Yeah. 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 It's great. It's great. Yeah. yeah, I did mean, hear some positive yeah. feedback that it was, uh, it was very uh, um, nicely put together, uh, <clears throat> spread out, sorry, spread out enough so people were that had concerns. Uh, weren't on top of each other. So that is one of the advantages to using the big park like that. It was spread out. Uh, so nice job. Thank you. Okay. Um, resolution or items for discussion of motion 2021-05 amendment uh, salaries. This is a uh, resolution that you saw a couple meetings or a few meetings back. Um, we were updated it because we've done a resolution since that was 04, so this would be 05 now. Um, this is uh, to define the salary and wage rates for part time employees for 2022. We're looking to start securing staff for, especially for the pool. Uh, we're going to have a transition there this year. All of our management staff that was on board this year is not returning. So, um, if you'd like to uh, define with those wages what we can offer and uh, uh, looking to, to bring this to you. You had asked me at a previous meeting in between here, and I told you the, uh, the what the impact would be by raising these. And we're looking at it's about $75,000 is the estimate that I came up with based upon uh, the same levels of staffing that we've done in the past. However, that we're thinking with the changes that we talked about for the pools and additional staffing out there, um, that we probably will be closer to a hundred thousand dollars total, um, for if, if we approve at these levels. I will uh, add that as of um, 
this past Friday, I took a little drive down Ridge Road, and I'm sure you guys are seeing the same signs that I'm seeing. Uh, kind of 25 businesses from here to the state line that are now hiring, uh, with sign signage up that says now hiring. And I think that a lot of them are types of places that we're competing with for employees. So um, just bringing this to try to you know make us as competitive as we can. Well, they're even advertising their wages. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm thinking about what. It's amazing how many are out there, and I and I think a lot of places, you know, you put up a sign almost as a last ditch effort to get people to work. A lot of times, it's word of mouth and, and other ways. But um, so this is something that, like I said, the the, the wage reins are still there uh, as to what we showed before, but bringing this back to you, bringing the consideration to the city. So, what a new emphasize thing. I'm assuming the I think some of them. That, that I'm guessing. Have, I, I, it, it could have played a little bit, but I think it's also just one their course on it. Uh, our assistant managers were both younger and at the age where they're moving into their profession. Um, Anna, who's our manager, has been there for a few years, and she just, you know, this is time for her to time. It's kind of what she's passing on to us. I mean, because if you look at the report, revenue and expense-wise, the pool is certainly the biggest one. So I would think that we would focus on that. Lifeguards are certified because we've got parents that are letting four year olds jump in pools five times. You know, those are things that I would love to pay for. Uh, I, I agree. And I, I have a hard time. I mean, I would love to pay lifeguards more because I believe that you know, being a lifeguard is the hardest, one of the hardest jobs is certification and uh, it's one of the hardest jobs. Um, I do have an issue paying even the park attendant the same as a lifeguard. That's that's not even in the same ballpark. Uh, so I don't agree with the increase to the park attendant. We should leave that where it was. Uh, it's just a tenure park maintenance. I'm assuming that's the, the person they want to walk into the back Yeah. That this was something this about what the town council added to this <laughs> list of staff last year. Yeah, I think we need to lower that back down because that's literally just a person that's going to walk the grounds and be the. Nine one one dialer. Honest question, and this is not sarcastic at all. Just being serious. Did the town council ask you what your opinion on whether you wanted a park attendant, or was it this park board wanted a park attendant, or did they just they did ask did, did, did they greet us with that like I, I Christmas and we get a park attendant? They reached out to us with that input, and I think then they said no. Hey, they, they created it for us to say, hey, you have the tool, it's in the toolbox, you can use it. We never, we didn't hire any park attendants last year or this year. And right now, I, that I money should go to the pool. Plan on you. Well, can it, you use some help? Yes. Okay. Sorry, right, just curious. They didn't ask. I'm not, I won't put you in that final spot. But, and, and realistically, right now, that would be the, the line item that would just be lumped into, would be that same type. So, uh, that's something else that would have to be added to it. We didn't really add anything specific to our budgets for this coming year that would fund that at this point. I mean, is it there? I mean, it's Jim Shemkel was the one that is it? wanted the Oh, I wanted a cop that wanted to patrol the foot, but patrol the pool. They couldn't show up there, but they were clearly at St. Thomas More. But yeah, that was I'm going to have an argument with a whole lot of people. For the practical sake. Oh. Because of some of the unruly stuff that we're going yes. to see. Jill, I'm sure you can I use some help too. To do their reports there instead of at the fire station right. two down at Bike Cobblestone. And that hasn't happened either. So I'm not in agreement for that. So. Well, the, the position is there, so we got a point. Yeah, no, it was it. there. I mean, we, we can leave it as it was when they created it last year and leave it as Mike suggested. Leave it at that same existing range. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. I may go out with a thing. You're the next year. I got a feeling it's going to be worse. That's fine. They can name the park. I'm excited. Oh, the, the comparison that, that <laughs> a, a little bit of the comparison that we made to why to make it a 13 16 and same time the same rate as the park 
uh, the part time maintenance for that part would be because I would hope if we would use that such a position, we would garbage removal throughout the weekend, picking up garbage is going to be All right, probably the biggest thing that they actually do, other than if they happen to see I, something. I, I look at maintenance in a different way, though, and, and, and maintenance I always believe is a necessity. If we do need to pay for that yeah. and, 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 and actually pay for that, I, 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 you know, paying someone to stand there to walk around. No, we, we would want to make sure that they're doing something and accomplishing something for us. So it's not, you know, we're walking in Monday morning to a garbage everywhere or a local garbage. Why can't That's we just get one of the golf course rangers to lick around every once in a while? Well, that's what they do. They just well, drive their car around. Well, I would guess that you would need, what <laughs> are some people to say that we need that and that the park force was supposed to do it? But I'm just being facetious and the park. Yeah, you know, the and Rangers are Indigo employees, so keep in mind. Yeah. What are your part time workers called in the summer? Is that just summer? Seasonal. Seasonal. Why don't we just hire more seasonal people when the grass is growing and there's more issues, I mean, there's more activities that happen? So they can be interchangeable with that as opposed to saying they're a park attendant or a 911. So just call. that high usage. Right. I mean, that, 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 you guys don't get a bunch of need. In the winter time, besides plowing snow, I get it. But I mean, the pool's not open. There's no activities in theory, except for some of the buildings. They're not cutting grass. The swing sets aren't breaking. But then, I mean, Mark, correct me. You oversee all this. You determine what we need, where we need it, when we, we can. Need. Yeah. And, and, and okay. I'm, right. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, when we had the issue with the safety, whatever, at the pool. You were able to add people over there to beef that up, correct? Right, with our staff, with, with our staff, with our staff, with the you were able to beef that like up. Our, so you people. had the flexibility sure. to move people if you yeah. know something yeah. really going on. So I think it's really, man, I think Mark's running it. I think the part time maintenance. We had difficulty filling those positions. Yeah. Some. I think Dan's point is a broader. Right. It probably yeah. is just that the money could be better spent. Like, I, I, yeah, that's to, a, to that degree, yeah. like, think about this in terms of, right. you know, park centennial park maintenance and park attendance. You know, when you weigh the number of calls that we had right. at the pool in community park to the number of calls and issues that we had at centennial park, where's the demand? Right. That's where we should be putting our money. I think the flexibility is there. But, but watch this. But it's not in writing yet. But watch this. Well, but this, but this position does it even have a job description? And we're not required to fill it. We, right. yeah. No, no, correct. That is correct. Here, here's my issue. Jill, you do, and I'm putting I put you on the spot, and it's not your thing. It's don't answer it if you feel uncomfortable. But here, I'll, I'll answer it for her. She is supposed to do programs, recreation, right. and there, things. There. Right. She's now being pulled from doing that to go over to the pool and trying to be pretend police officer, which is unfair to her. And I'm, to this, I'm speaking for her, so this is not her words, mine. You're pulling other staff out of this main office that are supposed to answer calls about camps and about this and about selling whatever and trying to find advertisers. You got an intern in there that may or may not know what they're doing initially. I mean, you're putting a lot of stress on a pool that has big issues and they should be, it should go to people that can dedicate themselves to the pool. That's why I've always said, get a police officer not there. Don't pull our staff over there because now guess what? It puts stress on the staff and then people go, well, this program could have done a whole lot better. If, well, guess what? Because we didn't dedicate the resources to those programs as we should, even though we're making money on them, that's great. But Dan, I don't disagree at all with what you said. Yeah, no. my, 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 my it's okay. point is, in the last 24 months or whatever it is, 18 months, things have changed in society. Okay. And I think it's a it's a movable target on how you operate. I don't care if it's the parks or the town or the schools. You have to be able to shift when you had those issues right away at the um, at the pool, we should have the resources to beef that up. Yeah. So, and and, and, I, and I, that's what I was asking, Mark. Was he capable of shifting 
to do it. And, and I think, and I think that we didn't have that issue. No, no, too much. I, I agree. And I think the my point is this: I don't think a park attendant, or okay. well, whatever, whatever you want to call the person yeah. being paid thirteen dollars an hour, is going to be able to enforce the issues that need to be dealt with at the pool. That's why you bring over senior staff over there to deal with yeah. it because. They are educated enough, they have the experience, and they deal with stuff. But if you pay someone $13, I don't care if you pay them 15 whatever right, you're right, paying right. over there, that's not the issue over there. And we're going to end up in the same situation if we just hire a bunch of no disrespect to the little park attendants. That, that's not, I would go for the, quite honestly, I'd go for another assistant pool manager out there to, to run them so you could give everyone a break before they get burned out because. This isn't going to go away. Or a pool security officer. Like someone yeah, that we this is hire. not going to go away. And, and adding yeah, someone who's 18 years old, but this is necessarily a who gets a $500 signing bonus, isn't going to be your answer to this problem. And we're going to be in the same place. I understand that. I think society should oh, I agree. A challenge every day. I agree. They, they, I think that's a challenge. And that's not to take away. And, and, and the issue becomes here is the municipality and your limit. That's a, and, and that's not take away what we've got to deal with maintenance when it's summertime. You've got a lot of stuff. And people, oh, well, why is it Frank Hammond in up to two of this near me? It's like, why is it Frank Hammond cut? It's long. Oh, my, my dog gets lost in the grass. Yeah. Well, you know what? You only have three people. That's what you have. I think Dave brings up a good point. These are, as I kind of mentioned earlier, that there are all these positions are tools in the toolbox for us. Right. There's nothing to say that we have in, in the last year. I don't think we had any adult fitness instructor. Right. So we, you know, that, but it's there if we need it. If we come up with a rec program, we can come up with, if we find the right person who can do it, we have a dollar amount that allows us to do that. Um, I think that this is a, a hot topic enough for you. I, I'm a fool if I ever hire a park attendant without you guys know. I mean, to be honest, I mean, it, it, I, that's not my intent. Uh, I can tell you that from that perspective. And the reason that I have it at that same wage rate as the maintenance is would be that to, again to give that tool to Kevin. And if we have that where we can have them, maybe they are more maintenance available during the weekend, during the weekends when there seems to be more other issues out there. But again, they're out there. Here's your job: go into your garbage cans, go clean the bathrooms, go lock up the door, you know, and and you're going home after that. But having that allowance, keep in mind. Last year we did we were able to shift some staff at the pool where we pulled in some extras and, and, and double shifted people to get by in the pool situation. Last year, as far as or this this year, this past summer, as far as maintenance goes, we didn't have that luxury. And I think part of that was when Kevin interviewed folks at at the $8.50, $12 an hour rate for maintenance was not cut. Right. right. That, and I think that's the, the biggest oh, issue in this change here is to make sure that we're paying those folks that would be seasonal part-time workers for him that we have that capability to be able to pay at that rate. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do about it? I mean, I, from my perspective, I'd be happy with, as Mike suggested, leaving, you know, going to everything with the 22 as proposed and leaving the park attendant position at that old range, if you want to do it that way, if that's uh, uh, fine. something you consider. I mean, I'll zero it out. How about that? I'll zero it out? Mm -hmm. I don't think that's a good idea. That's an old budget. It wouldn't take that far. I'll just go. No, I mean, if there's a, if there's a position <laughs> there, the position has to have a salary. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to fund anything. You don't have you can fund zero. You can zero out your entire budget and they can keep coming back to you for every dollar. I still don't know what a park attendant is, to be honest with you. That's why I asked them, is there a job description for each position? I think we drafted one based upon one that they did out in Wilmington, Indiana. That, uh, uh, but it basically was that where you're overseeing, um, you know, doing some of the park maintenance ongoing things that picking up the garbage, picking up or emptying the garbage containers, picking up random garbage and things in the parks, in the parking lots, setting up for shelters, setting up for events. It, it, it morphed into that only recently because the initial um, description was really more about uh, enforcing rules. That was the uh, paper of the initial one that was sent. It was about enforcing rules and uh, 
illegal activity and, and stuff like that. Well, maybe we ought to. Uh, that has since changed. Let's put any, anything down there as a minus value to come up with a definition of what market penalty is. Because we don't know what that position is even supposed to do. How can we suggest a salary? And I, I mean, I'm, a, I'm at a loss, I got to tell you, because if it's not a position that we wanted to create, but it's here, um, what are we supposed to do about it? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Damn, I'm afraid we don't have to find anything. And my, and my take on it is, and not trying to be argumentative, is make it a seasonal person. You don't need a, a, an attendant. Make it a seasonal. So if Kevin needs them there, you go there. You, you go where you're needed. I don't know what a park attendant is. That, to your point, Dave, we don't have a job description for it. And but Mark has said that it's someone that is just supposed to take out the trash, and that's fine. And, and the chief recommended it. So I, I guess would, we should go I to the police just, board just, meeting. I would sincerely just keep the, the wage as it is in the title. It's what the town council did, but we don't have to. I don't know if I want a dying to go for it. I'm not dying anyway. I'm dying. They can take it to my $600. You have all of it. This is probably a conversation for a bigger, a I, I bigger agree. conversation. I'm, I'm, it's, uh, it's the principle of it, and, and I think that's where we're, we're stuck on. Right. Yeah, that's principle. exactly right. Because what we're voting on is a resolution that has that of salaries for positions that right. are positions. Now have so the the if we want to revisit park attendance and what it is, then we have that. that we are not going to use it now. I mean that, that seems to be at least for another day. I don't, I, I don't like taking the board down the road to get the stuff resolved as well. But for now, I think we have to just vote on the resolution. And if you want to make a change to the salary. Else, I think by postponing it, are we going to see resolve anything? I don't see any. Well, I mean, my, my thing is just get rid of the position altogether and zero it out, not fund it. But I, I know I probably won't have a second, but that's just I'm going to be honest with you. So if that fails, I'll just vote no against it. And then the police chief can tell me what position I should get next time. So that's my motion. It dies like a second. Move on. And, and the town council member too. That's fine. They can hear exactly. Okay. Yeah. Minutes are for. All right. For well, what about the salary? Now we need a motion with respect to 2021-05 as presented by uh, by Mark. You know, I'm just trying to make this a longer meeting, Dave. <laughs> I'm not, you're not dragging it out to seven. <laughs> I'm just being honest with my by, by reasoning. He's doing that like you're saying. <laughs> That's right. Um, you're not going anywhere. 
Um, motion to approve the uh, pay scale as predicted. All right, move to the second. All okay, we probably have a roll call. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Nope. Nay. Yes. Yes. Three, two. Okay. Uh, social center usage rates. Great. This is uh, something we've been looking at just to reassess our fees every so often. The uh, fees at the social center were last raised in 2019. And uh, based upon the amount of interest that we get the use of that facility, uh, as well as the obviously increasing costs for utilities and supervision, staff time, and cleaning supplies, and everything that goes into operating the facility, we're proposing a rate increase. Um, the current rates are listed there as proposed. So a resident would go from 60, these are hourly rates, from 60 to 70. A non resident would go from 85 to 105. The nonprofit, I'm making the recommendation that we take it down to 35 from 40. Um, which in essence, which is basically half of the resident rate. Nonprofit rates are only for town of Munster based nonprofits and only available Monday through Thursday. We have availability there uh, based, you know, outside of our, around of our program, which is a whole uh, gigantic, a lot of time there. But that the, the resident rate and the non-resident rate, the uh, figures there, it comes out if, if the resident rate is X, the non-resident rate is X plus 50%. Rhetorical question. Has any other department head weighed in as to what they think we should do here on this one? Okay. I just was wondering if maybe the police got involved in what we should do. Or, uh, I'll or motion to approve council it. Member. Or a council member. <laughs> <whatever. laughs> no. Okay. I'll motion to approve it. I'll second it. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make sure it's that clear. Was, that, was good 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 that was a good question. Good question. All in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> You're coming in. Right? Maybe I should go to the budget hearings and talk about those pluses and minuses. And we do need one more motion. Oh, okay. To adjourn? I will motion to adjourn. Let's hold it there. Thank you. I'm taking it right now. Who's the second? Oh, thank you. Well, thank you for the I thought it was good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, gee. There's a raise. We can't adjourn. Oh, wait, wait. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> so, uh oh. Hello, everybody. Can I interject? Just I know the meeting is officially adjourned, and um, I sometimes have trouble hearing when I zoom in. But um, and actually, I'm a little afraid of Mr. Repay today. But um, <laughs> but Dan, what I'd like to do is, if you would like to sit down with me and and figure out what you're looking for to help understand the financials for the parks department. And then perhaps in one of the November meetings, we can explain to the whole board uh, what exactly is going on. I was not aware that we had problems paying our utilities. So well, that's just it. Let's take a look at the whole thing because, and I know that it was meant lightly that a little bit lightly, a little tongue in cheek, perhaps the um, conversation. Well, we're making money, though. We're positive, but we're positive in the programs, but we're not positive in the parks 
aspect of things. I mean, we still have to mow lawns, we still have to pay salaries, we still have to pay for the, you know, the utilities and all of that. So I'd be happy to look at how we can present it in a way that's very understandable for everyone. So um, whatever you guys would like or whatever I can do to help, I'm happy to do it. Let's just see if we can figure it out so we get a good overall picture of what's happening in the parks department. <laughs> just the, the whole point of we've been cutting for the last three years and other departments seem to be adding. So that's my question. And it's a broader question. Okay. Can answer, but it's just a point right. to be made. Okay. We'll take a look at it. That sounds good and um, see what we can come up with. So, you know, whatever, like I said, so everybody is on the same page and understands. So Thank you. sure thing. Thank you.